This video will help you install and download NetBeans 8, the Java JDK, and also the JRE, the Java Runtime Engine, which is necessary to create applications and run them in NetBeans. If you go to the link in your schedule that has oracle.com, it will take you to this page. It's oracle.com slash technetwork slash java slash java se downloads index.html. On that page, you will click on NetBeans with JDK 8. That includes both the NetBeans GUI software, it's the graphical user interface software that allows you to make nice applications in Java, and it also includes the JDK 8, which is the Java Developers Kit. That's the software needed by Java to create Java applications. When you click on that link, it will then take you to a page where you'll need to accept the license agreement and then choose which version of the software you need to download. For those that are using Mac, they do have a Mac version. For those that are using Windows, you need to determine whether or not you're using a 64-bit or 32-bit Windows operating system. Although it's a little confusing, the 32-bit operating system uses the x86 software. The 64-bit software, or the 64-bit operating system, uses the x64. If you don't know which operating system you're running, you can actually go to the link back on the schedule, windows.microsoft.com slash en dash us slash windows 7 slash find out 32 or 64 bit and follow those directions. Another thing you could do is actually going into your control panel, depending on which operating system you're using, clicking on system and security and system and it will show you your system type. For instance, I'm running Windows 7 Enterprise and my system type is a 64 bit operating system. Since I'm running 64 bit, I would want to download the Windows X64. So you'll click on that line right there and it will download software to your computer and then you'll execute that file. The next thing that you'll want to do is download and install the JRE. JRE stands for Java Runtime Engine and that allows you to run Java programs that you've written. Now you'll see on that web page there's two different links, a server JRE or just the regular JRE you'll just download and install the regular JRE. Click on that link and then you'll once again have to determine which operating system you're using. Click on the accept license, find your operating system, and then download that. Now in this case there's an executable or a zip file. Doesn't really matter which one you want to use. I would probably just use the executable. Click on that one, download, and install it. Now you've got NetBeans 8 installed the Java JDK 8 installed, and the Java Runtime Engine installed. The way you can determine whether or not it works is by simply looking for this icon on your desktop and then running that icon and hoping that it works.